Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing and overview and today I have here with me the Cooler Master Silencio uh, 650 Pure uh, so there are a lot of reviews about the 650 and uh, to be honest I couldn't find uh, much about the 650 Pure and that's one of the reasons that I want to brought this video to you so I could as best as I can share with you uh, what I feel about this case and I will also point um, some differences that I found on the two cases, the 650 original uh, or the 650, which <laughs> that's the name, and the 650 uh, Pure. One of the reason, one of the differences is the price. I could save um, around 50 euros from this case to uh, the 650 and not only that, the features that the 650 brought in uh, some of them didn't uh, make a difference for me, so this was a better deal. Uh, I reviewed a few weeks ago uh, the little brother of this case, which is the Silencio 352, uh, which was for my kid, and today I'm uh, really happy to be unboxing this one, which will be used on my video editing PC, uh, and I already reviewed most of the components. Um, and after this video I will build all the system and give you an overview of the whole system setup and after that I will share with you some more videos about uh, test noise and performance um, tests and benchmarks and so on but not diverging about the, <laughs> the case uh, let's open it up and see what's inside this case before I open it up, one of the differences between this one and the 650 is the box itself. So, so this will be, uh, I've already mentioned the price, which is different. Um, and the case is one of the reasons that the price is lower. Uh, the Silencio 50, uh, 650 comes with a white uh, glossy uh, kind of paper, uh, which is more expensive, obviously. And this one comes with an eco-friendly paper, if I could say so. So, cutting back a few costs and reducing the price for the final consumer, which in this case is, is me. Okay, so let's open the box and see what we'll have in here. So, what I'm going to expect from this box is uh, especially silence. All the components that I chose um, are um, to be, well at least I'm expecting so, uh, to be silent and um, I think one of the one of the big advantages of this case is it's that it's the silence um, it has foam on all of the, the parts of the case except the bottom but we will see that in a moment so let's try this is a bit heavy case okay so first I think I ran out of the scene here I am <laughs> didn't run out just moving this parts and putting aside so this is the first difference uh, box itself so it comes with hard foam, uh, well packed, no problems whatsoever. This came on the mail and, well, at least seems to be well protected with this hard foam, which in Portugal, by the way, we call it Sferovit. <laughs> if you cannot pronounce it, uh, no problem. Okay, Silencio 650 Pure comes with a uh, installation guide, supposed to be a uh, quick user guide, or at least I think it is. And I'm gonna put it aside, not gonna need that for now. And let's try to okay. Sorry about the noise. Let's put this aside and Okay, plastic aside, let's go and put it somewhere here where you can see it better. 
and the first look um, looking at it looks really really uh, stylish this parts uh, on the top these doors if I can say uh, doors that we can close and open uh, gives a really nice look this was one of the things that um, made me purchase this this case uh, the other case that I was looking for was the uh, fractal design R4 and it, it is a great case for what I've read uh, but one of the things that I, that I like is to have my connections on top and um, overall this case had everything that I wanted um, and what I'm expecting <laughs> is the part of the silence which is that what I'm going to test furthermore when I have the system built okay uh, try to keep myself shut and um, and go through the um, the overview of this of this box okay so the door first impression really heavy is not plastic the 352 that I reviewed for my kid uh, was a plastic case this one is not metal um, with foam inside and um, I expect to put this door opening the other way not really sure how yet but I will try to see how it works and oh yeah okay this is it so I will have to remove these two top and bottom uh, thingies I don't know the technical name for this and I will be placing on this side over here because uh, my box at least uh, in my office here will be um, more manageable if I can open the door this way okay well at least in my case but that's an option that you can use whether for one side or for the other so let's put this back in okay easy swap <laughs> um, so the door really heavy I like it uh, reminds me of my old case the Cooler Master uh, Cosmos 1000 which was a great case and it is a great case I still have it with me uh, in the inside so we will find one two three uh, three bays five point five and a quarter uh, inch base here relies another difference from the 650 uh, original version which had a uh, hot swap bay for 3.5 and 2.5 um, hard drives and that's one of the features that uh, for me uh, I wouldn't use it um, or at least it doesn't uh, it's not a deal breaker for me uh, all the disks that I have inside the box all the network disks that I have USB disks are on their place <laughs> everything is managed this one makes no difference for me so this is the third uh, difference price box uh, and the hot swappable bay and in here we're supposed to have the fans let's see how they come off okay a big grill with uh, a dust filter as usual in this kind of cases uh, dust filter for helping not <laughs> let the dust get in the case and then we have two 120 uh, supposedly silent uh, fans but we have space for 140 okay probably 240 I will have to see the specs but probably the space at least it seems so for uh, two 140 uh, fans okay maybe not one 140 and 120 but I will have to see the specs as I said um, and let's move on to another part of the box So let's try to figure it out. Yeah, okay. So front view, really nice. Uh, the airflow will go through the sides 
as you can see here, it has this uh, holes that will let, let the um, air intake through both sides and cool uh, the system, which is great. So let's take a quick look and let's put this here. Let's take a quick look at the, the top of um, the case. One of the features that I really like about this case, and let me put it in a better position. Okay, sorry about that, I don't have, don't have much space in my office, so I have to um, I have to work this way. Okay, so on the top of the case, we will find this really stylish um, door, which I really like it. I, I love the buttons and all the connections on top, um, but to be able to hide it, just great. Looks slick, no, you know, no, <laughs> really nice. You know what I mean, so. Okay, so what we have here on this um, bay, we have the power switch button, uh, reset button, and then we have um, fan control with these, uh, at least the, the motherboard that I have, and I think all of the Z87 motherboards, they will be able to control the fans, so this, uh, will be a bit, uh, well, you get the point, <laughs> out of date, um, but it's great to have it included, it's great. And then we have an SD card, uh, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, audio jack for your headphones or um, any audio device that you want to plug in, and microphone in. And then we have a button here which is on and off for the fans. Here realize another difference uh, from this case to the 650 and the difference is the 650 has a PCB that we will see, well we're not going to see inside, um, but it has a PCB um, that allows you to have a dual boot so you can have um, one boot, one boot disk for Windows, let's say, and another boot disk for uh, uh, Linux, or if you're building an Akintosh, for example, uh, you could have one disk boot Windows and one disk boot uh, your Akintosh mas machine. In this case, the 650 Pure doesn't have that option. And to be honest, I didn't need it. I just use, um, on my video editing machine, I just use Windows. I have my Mac uh, for uh, the software that I need Mac for it, as example, Motion 5, Apple Motion 5, um, and that's it. So for me, uh, it makes no sense. If that's a deal breaker for you, go with the 650 instead of the 650 Pure. So, okay, let's close this one. On the top, we will find another great um, feature about this box. If you want to keep it really, really silent, just and I at least on the spec, spec sheet, uh, it looks that way. Um, close it up and for sure it will Im help improve uh, the sound not getting out of the case. If you need more air, you can leave it open and the <coughs> natural air movement will bring hot air out of the box. Uh, if you think that's not enough, just plug in a up to 140 um, fan and you will have uh, exhaust uh, hot air from your build. So really nice as well. I'm, I'm thinking of leaving mine closed most of the, of the time. Probably in the summer we'll open a little bit just to let it breathe. And let's take it. Okay. I need to rearrange my Let's take a look at at the back. Okay, so at the back we will find, as usual, an uh, outtake fan with fan included, uh, 120 millimeters fan, and in here that's all we can put. There's no room for 140 fan. Uh, we also have <coughs> IO. Uh, or 
a hole for the IO uh, shield from the motherboard and then we have one two three four five six seven PCI um, slots available for to use we also have <laughs> as usual space for the uh, power supply and we have this two holes for water cooling which doesn't make much sense but hey uh, that's my opinion um, it's there it's available if if you are going to use this system just go ahead it's ready and it feels nice this uh, rubber grommets feel really nice so let's go forward and let's try to open this okay try not to lose the thumb screws okay so as you can see um, covered with foam the this is the left panel covered with foam uh, sound dampening foam really nice to see on the little brother 352 that I reviewed a few weeks late uh, earlier it had the same type of foam a little less thicker than this one this one is about uh, half centimeter thick this foam so really nice and the metal is uh, brushed aluminium uh, one thing is it's not finger um, fingerproof uh, <laughs> metal so be ready to have your fingers all around but that that's a thing that doesn't uh, matter at least uh, to me because I'm not always touching the the panels and let's see the inside let's take this accessories we'll see in a moment what we have there okay <clears throat> so uh, the last difference from the let's put this more in frame the last difference from the 650 original version is uh, and remember that button that I said it was on the top so we could change um, the the boot hard drive uh, it's here the 650 pure doesn't have the PCB um, that allow us to do that uh, if that's a deal breaker to you <laughs> once again choose the 650 original version if it's not like me um, you're gonna be fine with this one so that's the last difference of, of the two um, of the two cases let's take a quick look uh, inside so we have space for one two three yeah three um, hard drives two of them being two of them being able to take uh, three and a half inch uh, discs or two and a half uh, inch discs the bottom one that uh, we put it in place uh, only takes uh, three and a half inch uh, drives so well, it's it's a good op option uh, anyway uh, usually systems have one two SSDs um, if it's not your case sorry about that but in my case I only use one SSD for my boot drive so I will be happy to use it on one of these and then having another hard drive on the bottom on the top we have a cage that it's removable I will probably have to unscrew uh, the cage I will have to check that later on but it's removable so if you have a big big graphic card um, you will be uh, fine just remove this in my case I'm gonna use this GTX 6 uh, sorry GTX 760 uh, from EVGA and before I ordering the case and the <laughs> the graphics card I uh, research and uh, saw the specifications I'm not sure the wide 
that I can see here probably in a case uh, no it doesn't say in a case it doesn't say in a case but uh, well you can che check that but I think it is the the graphics card that I ordered the AVGA 760 GTX um, it has 24 and a half centimeters and the case as it is it will take up to 20 Six, 26 centimeters and without this will take 41 centimeters uh, don't just trust <laughs> in my word uh, I don't remember all the numbers right now but um, just go to the Cooler Master uh, website on the 650 Pure and you will see there the um, the right dimensions and then with the graphic card that you are trying to or you are thinking about purchasing you will uh, see if it fits or not before you make the uh, the purchase. So in the top we have um, easy connection, no screws for three, five and a quarter uh, inch base, and then we have um, all the cables, and these cables will be for all the connections on the front will be to. Uh, control the fans whether if you want to leave them off if you want to reduce the, the speed uh, which will it's nice if, if you don't have the, the Z87 or even if having the Z87 but you want to control it manually it's just a matter of switching those on and control the fans over here at least the fans of your case which I'm expecting them to be silent um, the ones that came with the Silencio 352 were very silent even the ones um, included so I expect not less from this one here and to finish it up let's go to the other side of the case just taking the thumb screws which are very tight okay very very tight Uh, my thumbs are not strong enough to open <laughs> this case. Another thing is get used to, if you're not uh, already, as I was with my Cooler Master previous case, uh, get used to the heaviness of these cases. They are very, very solid. Okay, so in the other side we have um, the, the panel, not completely with uh, foam, damp with the dampening foam but um, and this will be yeah for the parts of the cable so let's turn the case around so you can see so the hole that we see here on this part of the panel will be this area here where we will have our um, well parts of uh, cable management so okay so let's take a look at this side one thing that I really like to see here and I didn't saw on the 352 Silencio and I'm sorry I'm comparing with it but I just reviewed um, a few weeks early so I, I have that case fresh in my mind it's the rubber uh, grommets to keep the cables more steady and well, works great and then has this big window here so we can manage the uh, aftermarket CPU cooler which is great and I think this is it guys I'm going to shut up and wrap it up uh, one more thing let's look at the bottom before we go okay so at the bottom we have uh, four very solid plastic fits but covered with um, with uh, some kind of um, foam or uh, elastic really uh, nice grip uh, and we also have a dust filter on on the bottom which is nice and you can also include beside your PSU or power supply you can include 
a 120 millimeters fan intake um, to your case and I'm almost running out of time which is good for you don't have to hear me much more longer uh, but before we go I wanted to give you just a look at and I'll try to give uh, the best angle as possible to the top of the case okay probably like this so this is the part that will be uh, available to open and leave the air uh, go through and you have some dampening sound foam as well in this area here which will, well at least to reduce vibration will be great um, and you have the option of course to place 140 or 120 uh, millimeters fan on the top and yeah right now this is it let's put this baby back in place <coughs> and let me put myself on frame again <laughs> guys I hope I could help you with this uh, not very quick I'm seeing the minister and uh, my camera is running out of time <laughs> so I hope I could help with this especially to see the differences between this one and the 650 original uh, version um, that's my opinion why I got this case instead of the other I had the two available for me fortunately uh, one thing that I'm used to is the quality of Cooler Master cases as I said I'm coming from a Cooler Master uh, Cosmos 1000 which is a great, great heavy heavy <laughs> case and um, I'm expecting no less from this one and as an overview I'm not um, I'm not worried about anything uh, until now and I'm expecting uh, just the best out of this especially silence and a good hair uh, flow on the case guys if you have any questions any doubts uh, please drop me a line and I will do my best to uh, answer and give you feedback about the case you will view it in further videos when I have all the system set up um, and uh, with further opinions what I will find during the build of the system so once again my name is Roberto George if you like it just thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down and subscribe if you like this kind of videos and my other uh, After Effects templates and tutorials and tips and whatsoever and that's it I'm going to shut up bye bye thanks for watching